Hi there, I'm Nils with learn to diy and today we're going to be showing you how to replace your old garbage disposal, whether it's Incinerator or some other brand, with a brand new one. Now if this scene is familiar to you with the towels and the bucket and everything, my condolences, these are no fun, but I can walk you through step by step exactly how to replace this. And the first thing we're going to do is look at the source of the leak just to make sure that it does in fact require a replacement. On this particular garbage disposal, you can see the water is leaking right through the body of it, right on the bottom. It's rusted out on the inside, and in some cases you'll actually be able to see a crack on the side of it that's leaking. If the leak is coming from up top, up higher, perhaps where there's a joint to the sink or something of that nature, that usually indicates that it's a loose connection, unlike this, which is just time for a replacement. Now our first step in removing the old disposal is to disconnect the power. In this case, we've got a plug, so I'll just unplug that. If yours is hardwired, then you'll need to go to the circuit breaker box and make sure to turn off the circuit breaker that deals with this disposal. On the side of your disposal, you'll find two drains. This one here is actually for the dishwasher. So the drain water from the dishwasher gets pumped out, comes into here, and then all of the water from both the dishwasher and the sink go out this drain here. So we're first gonna remove the dishwasher drain and then the main drain, and both of them just require a screwdriver. Now every drain set up over here is going to be a little bit different, so if you're not able to completely pull it away, don't worry too much about that yet. Just make sure it's loose so that when we remove the disposal, you can then twist it away from the existing drain. Now before you remove the old disposal, it's time to grab some of that sweet Tupperware you've got hanging around from the 70s, and you can use that as a little stilt system. And that's basically a catch. These things are heavy. So what we'll do is put this little setup underneath so that when this thing comes off, it doesn't catch you by surprise and fall on you. Now every setup here is gonna be a little bit different, but this is a very common setup where you basically have a couple of flanges up here connected to the sink, and then you have what's called a quick connect, and this just tightens right onto the flange system that's on the sink. And so what we need to do is loosen this ring right here, and it's got these hooks in it. The hooks are actually for screwdrivers so that you can use that to give yourself a little more leverage. I'm gonna push away until I can get a little bit of leverage in there away from this bolt. And then as soon as you can fit a screwdriver in there, or begin to even, there we go. You can start to turn it. And then be aware, this is heavy and it's gonna wanna fall, so that's why we have that system underneath. There we go, and off it goes. And with that release, we can now take the old one completely out. After quite a bit of research online, we've decided to replace the Incinerator back there with this Waste King one horsepower disposal. This is probably a little on the powerful side for what we need, but this way our bases are covered. It's a great deal, and I'll put links in the description below if you're interested in a product like this. So let's check out what's in the box. So here's the new disposal. It does have a power cord. We made sure to select one that comes with a cord. And then inside the disposal itself, it has a lot of our fittings, um, including the catch. We've got some plumbing with an O-ring and then some hardware. In fact, let's just pop this off. There we go. And there's our stopper. Now just like with the old disposal, we have our dishwasher drain here and then our main drain pipe right here. It came with new hardware so that we can attach that directly to the existing drain pipes that we have. So this should be a fairly simple transition as far as the drains. What's different on this one, because it's a different brand, is the connection system. Here we have this flange that goes onto the sink and gets attached, but then this just threads right into the top of the disposal and then locks in place in a similar way but it does use a different setup, so we are going to have to replace that. If you're buying the same brand, typically you're gonna have the exact same setup and you can leave what's attached to the sink attached. That way you just need to replace everything from the disposal and below. Now removing an old setup like this is typically pretty easy. In a case like this one, we're gonna remove these three screws here and then we'll just pop off the clamp ring that's underneath and then with that off, we can pull the two flanges down and pop the rest up and start on the new one.
there it goes. There's old plumber's putty that's been sitting in there for decades probably, so it's time to get that out. And there it goes. Make sure the top side is completely cleared off so that when the new flange goes in, it forms a perfect seal. Now you've typically got a couple of choices when it comes to sealing it off from the top. You can use the rubber gasket that comes with it if you have a fairly flat lip around the drain. In my case, it's really curved, so I don't think this is gonna form a proper seal. So I'm just gonna use some plumber's putty to form a little ring of it and use that to seal everything off. Just like playing with Play-Doh, basically. Roll it into a snake and then make a circle big enough to go all the way around the ring. Now before mounting the disposal here, I do actually need to pop out this little plug. You can see the white plug inside there, and that blocks this off in case you're not hooking this up to a dishwasher. Because we are, we definitely need to pop that out. You can use any sort of a kind of blunt instrument to do that. I'm just gonna use this little extender here and pop, out it goes. So there it is. And if you don't do that, your dishwasher will try to drain and will just be backed up and it's gonna be bad news. Now back down here underneath the sink, we're going to put everything back together in the order shown in the instructions. So we'll put our paper gasket on first, then we'll thread on the nut. Okay, get that on there nice and tight. And this is going to pull that plumber's putty and that seal up above right down tight so this has nowhere to go. Make a good watertight seal. So there we go. It's not going anywhere. Next we have the mounting flange, and then lastly, we've got the rubber gasket that goes around the bottom. Now one very important note on these waste kings that's kind of confusing if you haven't done this before, is that the rubber flange that goes inside this metal one here needs to sit fairly low, and you can kind of tell here if you're looking, this angled bit right here should match up with the bottom of the pipe. What the tendency is, is to actually push this all the way up into the inside of the metal flange. There we go. And make it flush with the bottom of it. And then that little angle piece actually sits on the inside ring like this. And if you do that, there's just no room in here to be able to connect that little tooth. It's just, it can't happen. And it's not meant to be that way. So the proper way is for this upper lip right here to slide into this slot. It's meant to fit that way. So I'm gonna pop that on and then start to fit that lip inside there. And it should go pretty easy, just like that. Just takes a second. Oh, I got a little too much right there. There we go. And that's it. Now I've got plenty of room right here for that tooth to mount on. And now we're ready to put this thing in. Now another preparation step we have on the disposal itself is to take the drain that came with it to put the little rubber gasket, make sure that's in the right place. And then the metal bracket needs to be on there. So I'm gonna slide these in, put everything in place, and then attach it with the two screws. It's a lot easier to do this now while this thing is not mounted than to try to reach around it and do it while it's mounted. It's, it's quite the pain doing it that way. Good. I'm also just gonna take the ring off of here. and the nylon ring that goes with it. Slide that on here just to make it easier for when I'm ready to put that on. Now with everything prepped both on the drain here, on the drain pipes and on the disposal, I'm ready to get started. So I'm gonna slide this into where it needs to go. And move this into place. And then just line up those teeth with the flange. There, there, there we go. Give it a little twist, at least enough for it to hold itself. Good. And now I can kind of wiggle this back and forth to make sure this is in exactly the right place. And I'm actually gonna see if I can tighten it all the way while I'm here. Yep, there we go. So that's all the way in place. 
and that works out pretty well. I have a little bit of slack on this just because um, there's several fittings, so it's got a little looseness, which is okay. Now, if you do need to tighten things a little bit further on here, more than you can by hand, you can just put a screwdriver in the slot like this and then twist it as much as you need, and that'll give you all the leverage you need to be able to fasten it. And so with this in place, I just need to tighten this ring in all the way. And then we're going to reconnect our dishwasher drain right up here. Okay, so our drain is connected, our dishwasher drain is connected, everything's good. The only thing we have left now is to power it on and test everything and check for leaks. It looks like we're in good shape though. Now that everything's looking good, we're ready to seal this thing off. We'll put our little catch. You can push this all the way down until it stops against the lip on the outer rim, like so. Everything's dry underneath and looking great on top as well. And with that, it's out with the old and in with the new. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you do have questions, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. I always do my best to respond to any questions that are asked down there. If you want to learn more about different upgrades you can do for your kitchen, I've got a playlist you can check out right here that has such videos as installing under cabinet lighting and cabinet organization. That's it for now. My name is Nils with Learn to DIY and we'll see you on the next one.